compassion, and a Texan for peace. Jordan has swollen my feet, my legs are lead, yet I move and am moved. Iraqi refugees tell me their hopelessness, and I will bear witness. They are illegal everywhere. Their homes are destroyed. Overwhelmingly, they are women and children, with their husbands and fathers dead or vanished. They have the clothes on their backs and whatever they can find or what is given to them by charities. From drug drivers to teachers and engineers, they have no decent way to live and nobody wants them. Yet they gave me coffee, tea, shared their humble dwellings and were able to separate the individual from the war machine. Today I bought a pillow with an Arabic inscription and today hundreds of Iraqis died not only from bomb blast and machine gun fire but from starvation, disease and lack of medical treatment. The inscription translated, the garden cannot help but bloom as we cannot help but love. I think that's why I'm here. I said he said better to to advise Bosch uh, Hussein there uh, to to put his soldier really along the board between Iraq and Iran. So nobody can, even the, 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 the from the government itself, no one can go there. Or Resin, peering into the unblemished blue, through the sparse sun-bleached pines, birds sit and make their speech. People's coolers go on at 75 degrees. At least each sub-kingdom communicates. Human behavior and noise demands a missing link. Clouds mesh into a gray ceiling over the brittle trees. Human rationale applies meaning and smiles to the feeding and flowering potential of what is stood upon under a dimmed down sky. One thing I learned is, what I flee will snag me, and so I am caught momentarily, absorbing the low energy drone of aching parched trees, and relieved as they by a brisk and blackening day. <laughs> 